it's time for me to answer a few of your questions. G'day guys, welcome to the Aussie Share Trader. I'm out and about today, just sitting by my local park. It's bright and early in the morning, so hopefully no one comes past. Um, I'm going to answer uh, your questions today. I've had quite a few come through in the last uh, week or so. So uh, I thought I'd just sit down and um, do a, a Q&A and um, hopefully uh, this is of some value. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Without further ado, the first question is from Benjamin. Hey, would you be able to do a video on the trading advice you'd give to your younger self, e.g. 18 to 22? Being quite young myself and new to the game, I feel as if this would be super helpful, Benjamin. Uh, thanks for the question, Benjamin. I absolutely love this question, and it's uh, given me plenty to think about over the last couple of days. Um, what I come down to at the end of it is that I would give myself very, very little advice. At the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with uh, who I am and, and where I'm at. And I see myself as a, a sum of all the experiences that I've been through over, over my life. So there isn't a lot that I would want to change, the good and the bad. But my advice to myself is just to go through it and, uh, and learn from it. Um, experience, evaluate, evolve, the three E's. Um, yeah, so there isn't a lot, but maybe one thing, there is one thing that perhaps I would say, and that is, don't be so goddamn hard on yourself. Um, that's been a problem of mine, I guess, for the past, uh, you know, maybe for the first 35 years of my life, I was uh, a bit of a perfectionist, and um, I used to beat myself up something chronic if anything went wrong. So there you go, a bit, one bit of advice that I'll give to myself is to not be so hard on myself, yeah. Okay, question number two. Hello from New York, New York. Can you talk about some of your personal life in one of your vids? I.e. how you got into trading, a bit about yourself, etc. P.S. Why do you wear a Dodgers cap? Go Mets. And that's from Jamie. Why do I wear a Dodgers cap? Because I follow the Dodgers. I mean, why wouldn't I wear a Dodgers cap? I... As if you've uh, ever uh, watched one of my videos, you may know that I do love uh, my footy. I'm barrack for Richmond, but I actually really enjoy my baseball as well. And I barrack for uh, the uh, Dodgers in the MLB. Um, yeah, you know, good on you. Go Mets. I think Seinfeld barracks for the Mets, doesn't he? I'm a big Seinfeld fan, so they're okay. But anyway, your question about my personal life. Yeah, um, if you've watched any of my vids, you may have picked up little clues along the way. Um, but... Let me tell you, uh, I'm 43 years old, I'm married, coming up 17 years, I have three kids, um, and what else we got there? I live in Perth, Western Australia, was born here, and lived here all my life. Um, my trading, yeah, I've, I've always been interested in the stock market, even as a young kid, I would get the paper and I'd open it and I'd follow stocks. Um, you know, just by, by looking at the prices. This is pre-internet, obviously. Um, so we've got our, our prices from the paper every day. Um, I guess what I didn't have back then is someone who, uh, who was also interested and would support me um, and encourage me in stocks and show me, really, what to do. So I bought my first stock when I was 18, and this may be a whole other video, I think, um, but it was a terrible experience. I've tried, I've been trading on, in one form or another most of my life. I've had gaps for sure, but um, I've always come back to it. It's been really the last six or seven years solid where I've been trading consistently and been trading profitably. Up, you know, the first 20 years of my trading was all learning and losing money. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to make a whole video about um, my 18-year-old trading um, and the stockbroker I used. It's uh, quite a story, so that's for another another time. 
Okay, that's anyway, that's a little bit about me, uh, Jamie. Thanks for the question. But all the way from New York, I didn't know I had many followers in New York, but anyway, I must have at least one. Okay, next question. Hi, Darren. I am really enjoying your channel. Do you watch the Aussie Wealth Creation channel? And what do you think of Brandon's advice? And this is from No Name. He did give me his name. I had a little chat to the guy, but he asked me not to use his name if I was going to put it on video. And I won't. You know, it's a good question, so... Uh, not sure why but anyway he didn't want me to use his name so I didn't um, yes I do watch the Aussie Wealth Creation channel I love watching it um, Brandon uh, seems like a nice genuine sort of uh, guy um, J Brandon's obviously a lot younger than me uh, you know I would assume I don't know probably early 20s you know I have kids in my early 20s so uh, he's old no, young enough to be my son um, and look I wish I had my head screwed on as good as he's is screwed on at his age um, he's got like a wise head on young shoulders and um, just remember we're coming at it from slightly different angles obviously there's a generation gap there but also he's looking more long-term investing and my channel is more about shorter term trading so it's same same but different I mean it's the Australian stock market but looking at it from a different angle um, so you know you know, he's got, I think, last time I looked, he's close on 3,000 subscribers. Last time I looked, I'm close on 100. So uh, he's uh, well ahead of me and probably always will be. Um, but to answer your question, yes, I do. Um, and I think his advice is fantastic. So, um, yeah, I encourage everyone to, to, watch, uh, to watch that and get as much, uh, you know, as many different opinions as you can. And then you can form your own from those. Okay, next question. Get a Aussie share trader. Can you tell your viewers about your best and worst trades? Loving your vids, by the way. Keep them coming, Naomi. Hey, your girl. Um, I had a chat to Naomi on Facebook. She's a really nice young lady. Um, yeah, my best and worst trades. Um, my most memorable trades uh, go back to the good old-fashioned tech boom um, in the late 90s, early 2000s. I, had, I did speak about one in another video about Pilbara Mines um, that I bought. That's probably the most memorable, life-changing, um, most experience I got from one trade was Pilbara Mines. They went up 20-fold in a matter of months. So I paid 40 cents, sold them for $8. Made uh, my very first small fortune out of them. Um, then, of course, I give it all back in fairly quick time. And from memory, the one that got me was a share called um, Davnet. Now, I couldn't tell you anything about Davnet now, but I'm pretty sure um, I rode Pilbara Mines all the way up and I rode Davnet all the way down. Um, what a time, <laughs> what a time it was uh, in my life. And uh, I probably learned more in that one or two years around the tech boom uh, than I learned uh, any other time. You know, I've still made plenty of mistakes since, but um, yeah, that, that was some good times. And I, I'm hoping we get, uh, we get back to something like that again because it's just it's fun you know and trading is meant to be fun anyway thanks for your question Naomi uh, and the last one um, is from Luke what's your process in sifting through the circa 2000 oh sorry the, t the 2000 circa ASX stocks to find the stocks you want to investigate before you go long or short um, I don't really have a filtering process as such like a an automated one everything I do is manual so what I do have is just a list of rules that I don't really write down anymore it's just um, I look at a, a company's financials and I start ticking off in my head uh, little boxes the first one I probably look for is do they have any revenue because if they don't have any revenue then I'm not interested you know if they haven't build anyone for their services or their product then you can never be sure that they ever will so then that's the first one I tick up and I just go through my own little set of criteria and I keep going until the company is disregarded and if I get right to the end and I haven't disregarded them well then they go onto my watch list and then um, I try and uh, you know, have a good healthy watch list that I, I follow all the uh, all the news for and that's probably I think 
maybe 150 to 180 shares that I've filtered down just just over time and, and through experience so there's no I don't have any automated system it's all work uh, so when you're starting out you know, using my sort of method it takes a lot of work to get to a point where you've you've looked at all the stocks and then you've got your watch lists in place and then it's just a matter of maintaining them you know, one of the keys to um, being a good trader I think is having lots and lots of ideas um, I talked the other day about being impatient and being impetuous um, a, a good way not to be impetuous is to have lots of ideas so if you miss one there's always another one coming through um, so yeah to answer your question it's pretty much all in my head uh, Luke um, just again just experience just going through the the processes and the motions over time um, so there we go. That's all the questions I've got for today. But um, hopefully there was a bit of value in my answers there for you guys. So thank you to Benjamin, Jamie, uh, No Name, uh, Naomi, and Luke. Um, I appreciate you uh, asking asking the questions. I hope I've answered them to your satisfaction. It's um, Friday today, very early in the morning. I got up early because I didn't want there to be too many people around while I was doing this vid. Um, you've driven past and that but anyway um, it's about probably about half past five now it looks like being a beautiful day in Perth I can see the Sun coming over the hill there they've got the lake behind me my little favorite cafe Actually, I might turn the video around you can uh, see uh, my favorite cafe where are we here? see that there it's the strand um, nice little part of the world where I spend quite a bit of my day uh, working and uh, and meeting friends and stuff. Um, okay, so have a good trading day um, and a good weekend, guys. Um, on Tuesday, actually, I did have another question which I didn't put in because I'm going to make a whole video about it, and it may be Tuesday or maybe uh, sometime in the next few weeks. One of the questions was, I talk about my, uh, oops, I talk about my um, um, long-term. Uh, trading, uh, I'm not trading, long term investing in another video and he wanted to, the guy, well, I think his name was Chris, he wanted to um, see, or wanted me, he asked if he could see my, uh, all the shares that were in my long term portfolio, which I'm going to do, um, I'm going to put it out there, but that's a, uh, I think that's a whole video that I'm going to go through, so uh, look out for that in the next couple of weeks, um, no worries, have a good weekend guys, I'll see you soon.